All right, guys, every time I attempt this, the dogs start barking. Got me some tomato cages, some more mulch. Today, I'm going to clean this area up. I'm going to dig this up in here and do some planting. Get this front of this cabin looking good. I've already planted this rooster plant. Seems to be growing very well. I don't know what you feed those. Show you what I got. I ain't planting no dang on flowers up here. Begonias, look at them. Ain't them cool? Look at them things. And then we got this color. They were nice. Yeah, we got some more marigolds for the garden. Some more, uh, got some thyme, some pineapple sage, some rosemary, some parsley, a few other things. So we're going to stay busy today. Those logs out there are soaking wet. We had a heck of a rain last night, so I'm not even going to attempt them today. You know, this time of year, you got to get your gardens going. There's a ton of things you got to do before it gets hot. And I got to buy this stuff while it's in the stores. Uh, so I don't have time for that right now. I wish I could find a couple of guys. I'd give them a hundred bucks a piece to pick those things up, but I don't, don't know anybody. So, all right, I'm gonna get busy. This one's a little comedian here. She thinks it's funny getting in my bed and digging around. Look at her. She better stay out of it. I'm gonna have to put some kind of fence up. I don't need her in here. Oh, dogs. Why wasn't I Catman Homestead? Or Hamster Man Homestead? I don't know. All right, I'd say that's an improvement on the front. Got them begonia doodads in there. This little troublemaker. Wants to keep getting in there and digging. And it says on the label that these go good with sweet potatoes. And guess what? I just happened to have planted sweet potatoes. So I've got probably six left. I'll put a couple in here. And probably one there. They get about two foot tall. And I don't know if I'm going to put anything in there. I might put one there. That stays pretty shady, though. I um, really have never done anything with that. Yeah, we can get about three in there. That'll, that'll look good with those sweet potatoes. All right, guys. Let me get to working on some tomato cages and planting some herbs. And I'll make sure I capture it. All right. Here's what we got so far. That's the sweet potatoes. I'm not putting those with that because it said on there sweet potato vine. I don't think I have sweet potato vine. And I got a feeling that's going to take over that whole bed. I know how they grow. Did do this little section. Kind of ugly with my gas line there and my air conditioner bucket. I can take that bucket out and that'll water those plants. And then I put one there. I still got three left. Got to figure out where I want them. And this one. And I plan on landscaping this whole front area here. I'm not going to be parking here anymore. The only reason I'm pulled in like that is because of the trees. I can't get up the way I normally do. But I'm going to probably put a, build a carport right next to the house here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a sloppy mess out here. Here, because of the monster there, I got to get some bigger fence or figure it out. I don't know. So I'm not going to waste my time or money planting in there with the little digopotamus that looks like a lizard. Yeah, you, you and Libby, two biggest troublemakers I got. And then I could probably plant, she don't hardly ever get in there, but those, that fence looks like crap. I got to tear that out of there. I tried last week for the life of me, could not pull those out. I don't know what's got a hold of them. All right, I'm going to move on to the back, get some tomato uh, cages put in, and plant these herbs. Here's what I got left. Two of those. I don't know where to put them. I'll figure it out. And one of them. And I still got, well, these things were full of water this morning. But the herbs are starting to come up. 
but uh, I guess all of these are perennials. I got rosemary, uh, thyme, so I got to figure a better, I don't know where I'm going to put them. Probably those two wooden planters that have two sides to them, so we'll see. Alright, I'll come back when I'm back there. Well, welcome to Tomato Acres. <laughs> Yeah, I think I kind of went overboard with the tomatoes this year, but you know what? They're not going to go to waste. Uh, the chickens love them. They always get a lot. And then I'll give some away. And probably can a bunch. Got to learn how to, how to can. So, ended up we got 15, 16, 17, 18. Those aromas over there. And there's 19 tomatoes. Wow. And there's still some I haven't planted. <laughs> and guys, I'm a thief. Yep. I purchased 17 of these. And, uh, well, I've got 17, 18 used up. There's an extra one, 19 and 20. So I'll stop in there tomorrow and uh, pay them for the extra two. Boy, these things are all stacked up on each other. They were hard to count. I ended up pulling them out one at a time. Uh, but they stick together so I didn't intentionally steal them but I'm gonna stop in there and make it right uh, drives me nuts that I got a piece of advice if you're gonna put logs or rocks in the bottoms of these make sure you put your <laughs> you got to get these cages in there and that was no fun task trying to get them down and I love all of, I love all of them to be straight in a perfect line. I guess it's the military in me. And man, I got one there I messed with. That's why that one's all bent up. I could not get it down. So I don't know what's in the bottom of that one. I think that's that one with a big log that went across. Oh boy, was that a fight. I finally gave up. Uh, it'll be all right. I don't think, I think they're all deep enough. They're not gonna blow over. I've never, never really used cages much. I've, I've had a few. I bought the cheap ones at Walmart. These are nice, heavy galvanized ones. They're more, but they'll last me. I won't have to buy them for several years. Uh, what else I do? Got that pineapple, or yeah, that pineapple sage planted. That thing will get about four feet high, so I gave it that tub. And over here, planted parsley. That gets about a foot high. That'll do fine in there. I planted, uh, uh, yeah, thank God for these tags, thyme in here, and then uh, rosemary, and I've got more rosemary coming up. So we're going to have a pretty good garden this year. I really didn't plan a whole lot of eating food, but I use a lot of bell peppers. I use a lot of tomatoes, so uh, that's, you know, good enough for me, and I'll I'll get into other things later. I'm not done yet this year. Still got beds open or containers open. So I haven't planted any squash yet. I don't think I'm going to. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, it's so cheap at the grocery store to buy. Uh, it takes up a lot of room. We get squash beetles so bad here. I had spaghetti squash last year and the squash beetles just tore it apart. And I tried everything to get rid of them things. Uh, now there's another tomato there. We'll have to get him a cage. So, I think that's going to wrap it up though for the garden videos, guys. I know I said that in the last one, but we'll uh, we'll we'll put a few little uh, clips in, maybe some of the other videos. I'll keep you updated on how things are growing. Uh, I am no no means an expert gardener, so but I have gardened pretty steady for the last 10 years. Here seems to be the best location because it's open, there's no trees, gets full on sun all day. Uh, most most garden plants do well in the sun. And I did pick up more of these, well, I think I showed earlier, more of the uh, marigolds. So now almost, I think there's one don't have one. But. Just about every one of them have marigolds now. Three different varieties. These are the ones I planted. I think I planted them last year and they get about this high. It takes months before they get any flowers on them. So I just bought some, I already had some. All right guys, let's wrap this video up. 
and I'm gonna go in and rest for a little bit and I might try to tackle something else today. Alright, happy trails.